そっか Hello, it's been a long time coming, but welcome back to another video. This was a requested video for some time now. I appreciate all of you guys for watching my content. In this particular one, we will be discussing some giant prehistoric bugs, or arthropods. So, what is an arthropod exactly? These are invertebrates in the phylum Arthropoda. They possess an exoskeleton with a cuticle made of chitin, often mineralized with calcium carbonate, a body with differentiated metameric segments. And paired jointed appendages, so very complex in their body structure. Pretty much every bug today is an arthropod like ants, bees, millipedes, centipedes, the list goes on, and even crustaceans are arthropods as well, like crayfish, crabs, and lobsters. Me personally, I think bugs freak me out, but they are beautiful animals in their own regard. Of course, besides the nasty, mean mosquitoes, I think we all can agree on that if you know, you know. Anywho, What were some of the biggest arthropods to ever live? Since we got that out of the way, I will show you some of the biggest giant bugs to ever exist, but most come from the sea. I mean, everything is bigger in the sea, right? The most common giant arthropods are usually the Eurypterids. These are often informally called sea scorpions, and they are part of a group of extinct marine arthropods that form the order Eurypterida. These consist of small to very large species, even weighing as much as a large jaguar or more. The earliest known Eurypterids date to the Darawillian stage of the Ordovician period, 467 million years ago. The group is likely to have appeared first either during the early Ordovician or late Cambrian period. Another common group of giant arthropods in the prehistoric periods is an extinct family of Cambrian radiodonts, a group of stem group arthropods. Radiodonta is an extinct order of stem group arthropods that was successful worldwide during the Cambrian period. Radiodonts are distinguished by their distinctive frontal appendages, which are morphologically diverse and were used for a variety of functions. Radiodonts were among the earliest large predators, but they also included sediment sifters and filter feeders. Before we start, paleontology is always subject to change. So, animals and their physiology could be different in the future. Just look at Spinosaurus, for example. Also, people make sure to check out the paleo artist. I will leave them in the description and in the video itself. The first animal we will look at is Laminocaris chimera, which is the bigger cousin of Anomalocaris. This animal lived during the Cambrian period. Many radiodonts and Anomalocarids, the appendage is divided into segments called potomeres. It is monotypic with a single species, Laminocaris chimera, the fossil of which was described from the Chengjiang biota of China in 2018. It would have hunted fish and smaller animals and was also one of the first apex predators to thrive. It was about one meter long. You think millipedes are creepy? Well, we had one that was as long as a car. Meet Athropleura. It lived in what is now Europe and North America around 344 to 292 million years ago. The size was at least 2.7 meters, making it the largest known land arthropod of all time. Arthropleura is known from body fossils as well as trace fossils, particularly giant trackways up to 50 centimeters and potentially also large burrows. It lived in open, sparsely wooded environments near water and was possibly amphibious. Hibertopterus was a literal tank compared to all arthropods. This is a genus of Eurypterid, a group of extinct marine arthropods. Fossils of Hibertopterus have been discovered in deposits ranging from the Devonian period in Belgium, Scotland, and the United States to the Carboniferous period in Scotland, Ireland, the Czech Republic, and South Africa. Hibertopterus was the largest Eurypterid within the Stylonurine suborder. With the largest fossil specimens suggesting that Hibertopterus scalari could reach lengths around 180 to 200 centimeters. Though this is significantly smaller than the largest Eurypterid overall, Jacalopterus. Aegirocasis is the equivalent of a large baleen whale during the Ordovician. It is an extinct genus of giant radiodont arthropod belonging to the family Herdiidae that lived 480 million years ago. 
during the early Ordovician in the Fezuwada Formation of Morocco. It is known by a single species, Agirocassis ben Malai. This animal evolving filter feeding traits was most likely a result of the Great Ordovician Biodiversification Event, when environmental changes caused a diversification of plankton, which in turn allowed for the evolution of new suspension feeding life forms. The size was around 2 to 3 meters and 154 kilograms. This animal looks like a sci-fi bug monster from a horror movie. Omnidens is an extinct genus of large Cambrian animal known only from a series of large mouth apparatus and sclerotized talon-like structures, originally mistaken as the mouthparts of anomalocaridids. Omnidens is suggested to have been the largest known free-living Cambrian organism. Omnidens fossils are found in the Maoshan Shan Shales in the Yunnan province of southern China. The size was around two meters long. We have another large sea scorpion. Pentacopterus is a genus of Eurypterid. Fossils have been registered from the Darwinian age of the Middle Ordovician period, as early as 467.3 million years ago. The genus contains only one species, P. decorahensis, that is the oldest known Eurypterid, surpassing other Ordovician Eurypterids, such as Brachypterus, in age by almost 9 million years. Sea scorpions actually don't have stingers at all despite their living cousins, and these animals are actually more related to the crab and lobster than the scorpions of today. It would have used its pincers and sharp mouth parts to dismember prey like fish and other crustaceans. The size of this predator was around 1.7 meters long. Pterygotus grandinatus is an extinct genus of giant predatory Eurypterid. Fossils of Pterygotus have been discovered in deposits ranging in age from Middle Silurian to Late Devonian, and have been referred to several different species. Fossils have been recovered from four continents, Australia, Europe, North America, and South America, was a top predator in ancient seas, preying on various marine creatures. Its diet included fish, trilobites, aquatic scorpions, small orthoconic cephalopods, and smaller eurypterids. Pterygotus likely employed ambush tactics, burying itself in the sand to surprise its prey. The size was around 1.75 meters long. Acuteramus is a genus of giant predatory Eurypterid, an extinct group of aquatic arthropods. Fossils of Acuteramus have been discovered in deposits of late Silurian to early Devonian age. Eight species have been described, five from North America. Acuteramus from other Eurypterids by their flattened telsons, the most posterior segment of the body, and their modified chelicerae, frontal appendages, ending in well-developed chelae, claws. Acuteramus preyed on a variety of marine animals, including small to medium-sized fish, crustaceans, and potentially even other Eurypterids. While traditionally viewed as a powerful predator, recent studies suggest Acuteramus may have also scavenged or preyed on softer-bodied animals, possibly in low-light conditions. The size of this animal was around 2.1 meters long, this sea scorpion rivals the biggest arthropods ever in size. It is called Carcinosoma, a genus of Eurypterid. Fossils of Carcinosoma are restricted to deposits of late Silurian, late Landovery to early Predoli age. Classified as part of the family Carcinosomatidae, which the genus lends its name to, Carcinoma contains seven species from North America and Great Britain. Carcinosomatid Eurypterids had unusual proportions and features compared to other Eurypterids, with a broad abdomen, thin and long tail, and spined and forward-facing walking appendages. They were not as streamlined as other groups, but had considerably more robust and well-developed walking appendages. It is among the largest Eurypterids overall, rivaling the large pterygotid Eurypterids, such as Jacolopterus, in size. The size of this giant was around 2.2 meters long, Jacolopterus is one of the biggest arthropod to have ever lived. It is a genus of predatory Eurypterid. Fossils of Jacolopterus have been discovered in deposits of early Devonian age from the Pragian and Emsian stages. There are two known species, the type species J. renani from brackish to freshwater strata in the Rhineland and J. Howelli from estuarine strata in Wyoming making it the largest arthropod ever discovered, surpassing other large arthropods such as fellow Eurypterids, overall appearance, Jacolopterus, is similar to other pterygotid Eurypterids.
Possessing a large, expanded telson, the hindmost segment of the body, and enlarged pincers and forelimbs. Both species of Jacolopterus were first described as species of the closely related Tergotus but were raised as a separate genus based on an observed difference in the genital appendage. The size of this massive killer was 2.5 meters long, now debated as the biggest arthropod with Jacolopterus, but was much more bulkier. Eratopterus is a genus of large predatory Eurypterid, an extinct group of aquatic arthropods. Fossils of Eratopterus have been discovered in deposits ranging from early Silurian, the Rhodanian Age, to the early Devonian, the Lotcovian Age, and have been referred to several different species. Fossils have been recovered from two continents, Europe and North America. Studies on the chalicerae and compound eyes of Eratopterus have revealed that it was a predator with high visual acuity, but it was not as highly specialized or active as Jacolopterus and Pteragotus. It was more like Slimonia acuminata and probably used its enlarged chalicerae for grasping rather than a more specialized feeding. This titan was around 2.5 meters. Anyways, that will wrap it up here. There are much more prehistoric bugs in our world that I haven't covered. Like and subscribe for more content if you like this. If you have any more suggestions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.